service with the opening from in 95.
for our Bible reading. Our Bible reading for today's service will be seen in the book of 1 Kings chapter 18 verse 20 to 14. Our Bible reading for today's service will be seen in the book of 1 Kings. 1 Kings 18 20 to 14. Are we all there? First King eighteen twenty to fourteen. I read. So Ahab sent for all the children of Israel, and gathered the prophets together on Mount Carmel. And Elijah came to all the people and said, How long will you falter between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if thou, follow him. But the people answered him not a word. Then Elijah said to the people, I alone am left a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's prophets are 450 men. Therefore, let them give us two bulls, and let them choose one bull for themselves, cut it in pieces, and lay it on the wood, but put no fire under it. And I will prepare the other bull, and lay it on the wood, but put no fire under it. Then you call on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God who answers by fire, he is God. So all the people answered and said, It is well spoken. Now Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, Choose one bowl for yourselves and prepare it first, for you are many. And call on the name of your God, but put no fire under it. So they took the bowl which was given them, and they prepared it, and called on the name of Baal from morning even till noon saying, O oh, Baal, ye horse. But there was no voice. No one answered. Then they looked about the altar which they had made. And so it was at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, Cry aloud, for he is a God. Either he is meditating, or he is busy, or he is on a journey, or perhaps he is sleeping and must be awakened. So they cried aloud and caught themselves as was that custom, with knives and lasses, until the blood gushed out on them. And when midday was passed, they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, but there was no voice. No one answered. No one paid attention. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come near to me. So all the people came near to him, and he prepared the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And Elijah took twelve stones, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the word of the Lord had come, saying, Israel shall be your name. Then with his stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord, and he made a trench around the altar large enough to hold two shields of seed. And he put the wood in order, cut the bull in, in pieces, and laid it on the wood, and said, Fill four water pots with water, and pour it on the bond sacrifice and on the wood. Then he said, do it a second time. And they did it a second time. And he said, do it a third time. And they did it a third time. So the water ran all around the altar. And he also filled the trench with water. Verse 36. And it came to pass, as the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel, and I am your servant. And that I have done all these things at your word. Hear me, you are the Lord God. And that you have turned their heart back to you again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice. And the wood and the stones and the dust. And it licked up the water that was in the trench. Now when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces. And they said, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. The last verse, verse 40. And Elijah said to them, Seize the prophets of Baal. Do not let one of them escape. So they seized them. And Elijah brought them down to the brook Kishon and executed them there. 
May the Lord bless the reading of the scripture. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you know that you know that the Lord is your God, shout a powerful hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor welcome to church. Today is Sunday, the 10th of January, 2021. Amen. Amen. We welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit into our midst this morning. And we want to thank God for giving us the grace to see the third Sunday in the month of January. The second Sunday in the month of January. Praise the Lord. The month of January is our month of new beginning. Amen. And the year 2021 is our year of new wine. Praise the Lord. A month of new beginning, a year of new wine. Amen. I hope we are not just saying it. I hope we believe it. That song um, in 95 that we just sang, the verse 3 said, Ponder anew what the Almighty can do. Tell your neighbor, ponder anew what the Almighty can do. Only can we hear and continue alone. We just read in the Bible now how everything they put water and everything was consumed by fire. But somebody said, Come down, that fire should come down. So as we go about in this month, I want you to think of that new thing that the Almighty can do, that only the Almighty can do for you. It's not enough to just say, It's my month or it's my year. Think about it. Amen. Visualize it. See it. And pray about it as we're praying for 21 days and it will happen in Jesus' name. Say it will happen in Jesus' name. It will happen in Jesus' name. Amen. Our announcement. Our Sunday service starts by 9 a.m. with Sunday school. Amen. Let's endeavor to come early and participate. Your service is incomplete without the Sunday school. Praise the Lord. Those that are in the Sunday school today shout hallelujah. You know, it's good to come to Sunday school because we will be tested. Praise the Lord. You know, the test we had today is just let's write something. When you go out there and you say, my brother, I want to do... They will ask you questions. Amen. Amen. The test is in what you know. It is in what you know. And when you come to Sunday school and Bible study, you get strengthened. Praise the Lord. You get strength. Tell your neighbor, receive strength. Receive strength through the word of God. And so shall it be. Our Bible study is on Tuesday by 5 p.m. You can join us in church or online. And we will be studying the book of John chapter 3 this week. Amen. Let's read John chapter 3 ahead of time. And let's come with our questions and discussions. Our 21 days prayer and fasting continue. Amen. Today is day 7. Today is day 7. And you know we will pray every Sunday when we come to church. But we also send out prayer and Bible readings for every day to our phones through WhatsApp. So if you don't have it or if you are here and you don't receive it, can I see your hand? If you are here and you don't receive messages for 21 days, can I see your hand? That's good. So we all get it. So let's pray. It. Amen. Let's pray. It. Amen. And as you pray, wonders will happen. Wonders will happen. Our Thursday prayer hour program will commence on the 28th of January. Shout hallelujah. It's from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And this is a special prayer meeting for anybody that is looking up to God for job, for opportunities, for growth, for blessed marriage, for blessed opportunities. If you are looking up to God for, for elevation, for increase, amen, come and you shall be blessed. I don't need to say more than that. Come and you shall be blessed. The testimonies are bound. They are bound. People give back. Confirm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Every second Friday of the month is our solution night. We had the last one this Friday. Amen. Let's mark our, 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 our calendar for that. It's called solution night. 
we'll come to pray and get solution to all the issues in, around us, not even in our life. But all the issues in around us, including the ones in Nigeria. Amen. The next one is um is on February twelfth. So let's come early. And for those that stay very far, the church is open as early as eight in the evening. You can come and uh, you know we can fellowship and, and, and go home uh, when the day breaks. Amen. Is there anybody worshiping with us for the first time? Anybody? Praise the Lord. This is the Spring of Life Evangelical Church. We are also known as Arena of Prayer. Our aims are to preach the word of God. I want you to say, you say to preach the word of God. To embark on global evangelistic and missionary outreach. And to raise prayer champions. And our mission is to recruit true Christians that will make heaven. Praise the Lord. Our mission is to do what? To recruit true Christians that will make heaven. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Our special announcement. All you should wait after service for a brief meeting. And all workers are to wait immediately after service. All women too should wait after service. Wow. And um, I also want to encourage all departmental heads that after service with each department, try and um, wait and pray and thank God for the opportunity to come and serve today. So that, you know, when you thank, it gives you more. So when we thank you for the opportunity to come and serve today, we are preserving the ones in the future. Amen. All other announcements shall be taken by the pastor. Praise the Lord.
Shall we rise up on our feet? First, let's celebrate the grace of God and I want to appreciate His holy name. Give me the opportunity to stand here this morning. I say, May His name be praised forever in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want to appreciate my mother for giving me this great privilege. I did not take it for granted. Mommy, thank you so much, ma. The Bible says, He suffered no man to do them wrong. Psalm 105, verse 14 to 15. Yea, He reproved King for the sake, saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophet no harm. Mommy, I speak prophetically. Any hand that touches you by mistake, they shall die by correction. Oh my God. Oh my God. I said, Any hand that touches you by mistake, both you and all the ministers of God, I said, They shall die by correction in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are in the hour of prayer. And I want us to pray seriously this morning. But before we go to that prayer, I want to give all the focus of our prayer. We want to pray on power to recover all. Brethren, I would like you to understand something. If you can agree with me, that I believe that this is the prayer, the kind of prayer that your own nation should be praying by now. To recover everything. Because there's no any nation that has not lost anything in year 2020. Nation lost so many things. Family lost their loved ones. But I pray oh, oh Jesus. We shall recover all in the mighty name of Jesus. I will take my test from the book of Genesis chapter 20. Genesis chapter 20. It's a popular place that you know. Genesis chapter 20, verse 1. I will read from here. The Bible says, And Abraham journey from thence toward the south country, and dwell between Kadesh and Shore, and sojourn in Gera. And Abraham said of Sarah his wife, She is my sister, and Abimelech king of Gera sent and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night, and said to him, Behold, thou art, thou art but a dread dead man, for the woman which thou hast taken, for she is a man's wife. Hallelujah. This is Abraham here. The Bible says he journeyed from Kadesh to Shore. And when he got a particular place, Abimelech, the king of uh, the king of Shaw, he not came. He came to him. But before they got there, the Bible said, Abraham said to his wife, "Say, God, come. The place we are going. Why? Abraham don't have the power. And he now said to his wife, please, in case of the action, who are you? Say, you are my sister. Don't let them know that I'm your husband, though. And... <laughs> And, and it's not a lie because he married he marry her from that family. Hallelujah. But this is what we want to bring. Please. When the Bible gets to a place, I continue with it now. And the Bible said, and God came to Abimelech on a dream and said to him, You are a dead man. Can I pray for somebody here? Anyone that we told your blessings, anyone that we told your right, your right this morning, I said the Lord will release for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Everything that we told, they shall release for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I speak prophetically, the Lord will go to them that you are a dead man if you don't release it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And move forward. The Bible says, but Amen, Amen, I am not come near her. And he said, Lord, would that be also a righteous nation? Said he not unto me, she is my sister. And she even she herself said, but let's go to verse six. The Bible says, and God said unto him in a dream, Yea, I know that this this thou do these things in this integrity of the heart. For I also will tell thee from sinning against me. Therefore, suffered I did not to touch her. Now therefore restore the man his wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not, know thou that thou shalt surely die. Thou and all that that are dying. Verse the Bible says, Therefore, Abimelech rose early in the morning and called all his servants and told all these things in their ear. And the men were sore afraid. If you continue from verse 9, the Bible says, And Abimelech caught Sarah's hand and went to him and said, Please take back your wife. Not only that, in verse 14, the Bible says, And he even gave Abraham oxen, sheep, and so many things. Also, often, often, Yahweh, but I nearly he returned her back with interest. Somebody, you are recovering everything with interest this morning. I said, you are recovering everything back this morning with interest. I want us to pray. Can you repeat after my father, my maker? My father, my maker. As I pray this morning, he lifts upon me power to recover all. 
that I have lost in 2020. Open your mouth and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, raise up on the Lord. Power of God is over everything that I have lost in year 2020. In the name of Jesus. Lord, raise up. Power to recover everything that I have lost in year 2020. Lord, release upon me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Power to recover everything that I have lost in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, release upon me, Lord. Lord, release upon me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Power to recover everything that I have lost. Thank Holy Spirit. Lord, release upon me, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. The power to recover everything that I have lost in year 2020. Lord, release it upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive the power now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Oh my God, that your Emma is looking for my trouble. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to pray loud and clear. You are going to say to God, every spirit, repeat after me, every spirit from the darkness that has been assigned to monitor in my life. Hey, who is that person? I saw something right now. Thank Holy Spirit. Thank Holy Spirit. I want you to hold yourself very well. I only have a few minutes. Hold yourself very well. No, 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 man. I mean, I want you to hold yourself very well. Stand very well. The Lord show, just reveal something to me now. I see a spirit behind somebody now. I see a spirit behind somebody now. I didn't say what I don't see. Please, I see a spirit behind somebody now. I want you to pray this prayer violently. Every monetary spirit that has been assigned from the kingdom of darkness to monitor in my life. What are you ready for? Oh, you are separated by fire now. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Pray that prayer very well now. In the name of Jesus. Rabo Sagabarabosh. Ibaina Ranana Rabosh. Ibaina Rabosh. Ibaina Rabosh. Ibaina Rabosh. Ibaina Rabosh. Ibaina Rabosh. Ibaina Rabosh. Let up his submission by fire. Let up his submission by fire. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. In Jesus. Martin, now we pray. I want you to repeat that prayer this way. Shout the name of Jesus one time. Thank Holy Spirit. I shall remember. The Lord said I should tell somebody, I should tell somebody here now. Thank Holy Spirit. Thank Holy Spirit. Okay. Thank you. I prophesy. That contract you lost last year. The Lord said I should tell you. Before the 21st of this month. Write it down. I don't want to consider. I consider. Only one in women before the 21st of this month. Before the 21st of this month. You are recovered that contract. I said that contract shall be recovered back to you. That investment you lost last year. I speak prophetically. Before on the 21st of this month. I said the Lord is coming back to you now. In the name of Jesus. Repeat after me. Holy Ghost. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I need it. I need a born again, Holy Ghost. You call the name of Jesus one time. Holy Ghost. Every spirit that has been assigned to rob me off of my blessing. In this year 2021. Let them cast fire. Listen, there are some spirits that has been assigned. The only thing they know how to do is to rob someone's star. They will rob you. It's robbed. I'm robber. I did good job. One big one here. One brand new. Oh, yeah, to see stealing. Stealing is different from robbery. Stealing, they see something while you at your back when you are not there. But I'm robber. You will release it by yourself. I want you to pray that every spirit that has been assigned to rob me of my blessing. To run me on my breakfast. You know those things. You know those things. To run me on my contract. Hey, to run me on my health. To run me on my wealth. Father, let them cast for your name. Open your mouth and pray. Rasta kapaya ba 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 ba. Iba 
We are going to pray three prayer points. But this is the first prayer. Listen, there are some people. They all told me this in year 2020. They normally have yearly meetings of people say, We tried over her. We tried over him last year. You could not overcome it. Let's go on another meeting. But that's not where I'm going. I want you to pray. My father, my father. Any evil can go against my life this year. What should happen? I don't know. You may want them to scatter, you may want them to leave, and you may want them to die. It depends on your own opinion. My father, my maker, any evil can go against my life to scatter my joy, to scatter my marriage. life evangelical church has lost that let there be recovery with interest do you know those interests you know those interests it's coming with first class people the people that will say mommy wait I, I, there, I, there's a plot of land somewhere I think we should get the place and be mommy, I need a loan. mommy forget about the money Calabushin, Katayaba. even it's come, I say it's coming back with interest with multitude the Bible says, the Lord Jesus said, if I lifted Jesus up, he said, if I be lifted up, I will draw men unto. Let us pray that God, God, every good thing, every blessing, the spring of life, every little thought has lost. From the year past, let there be total recovery now. With interest, Open your mouth and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Represent the Lord of the Lords. Hey, every good is every blessing. The spring of life of our local church has lost. Lord, Lord, I'm totally coming now with interest in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I'm coming now. Lord, I'm coming now. Lord, I'm coming now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. The last prayer point you are praying is by yourself. I don't know those things you lost in year 2020. I want you to pray to God that God let that be recovery now with interest. Your editor bank and long way, man, to the other part of my room. Uncle, don't you know? Long way, man, to the one that part of my room. I don't know those things you have lost. I want you to pray, my father, my maker. Every good things, all my blessings that I have lost into the year 2020, let there be total recovery now with interest so that I can enjoy a new beginning. You know, those who begin to measure them, maybe I might have prayed the mighty name Jesus. Begin to measure them, begin to measure them, those good things. We 
with interest in the name of Jesus. Let there be total recovery with interest in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I pray for everybody that has prayed that prayer. Is there anything that you have lost in the year past? Not just in 2020. Before 2020. All the things that you have lost. Don't you want to go to bed all the way? Don't you want to go to bed all the way? Everything that they have collected from you. I pray that you are recovering them back. Amen. I thought your amen would be louder than that. Amen. All the things they have collected from you in the past nine years. Uh, somebody is here. What they have collected is nine years ago. Someone is here. What they collected from you is eight years ago. Ten years ago. Seven years ago. Hear the word of the Lord. If your amen can roar very well. That which they collected from you, recover back in the name of Jesus. Amen. Which Amen. in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, my father my every father. unfinished battle of my parents shall not continue with me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer now. My father, my father, my father, every unfinished battle of your parents shall not and never continue with me in the mighty name of Jesus. Baba, me, Baba, me. Oh, good, I will be me, Jack, what you want, Jatan. Me, oh, need to have a good day. Pray that prayer very well. Every unfinished battle of my parents shall not and never continue with me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. This is the second prayer point, and I want you to pray very well. Say, I stop every evil flow in my family. By the blood of Jesus. There was at a point in the Bible. The Bible said, But in Rifu Baba, Ben no reformer, but in Rifu Ya, Ben no reformer, Elbini. So that flow must stop today. I thought your amen would be louder. Say, I stop every evil flow in my family by the blood of Jesus. Oh, pull your mouth and pray that prayer now. That evil flow, that evil trend, that thing that usually happens, that evil that usually takes place from generation to generation, I stop it today by the blood of Jesus. I stop it today in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, they are stopped. Hear the third prayer point. I want you to tell God that every evil that must, that must happen in 2021 will not, will not happen to me. Praise God. The Bible says every day is full of evil. So it means that every day evil must happen. Amen. Amen. There are some evil that prayer cannot change. What you can do is that it must not what happen to you. Say every evil that must happen in 2021 will not happen to me will not happen to my children will not happen to my husband will not happen to the church of God open your mouth and pray that prayer every evil that must happen in this year 2021 is not my portion 
It will not happen to me. It will not happen to my children. It will not happen to my husband. It will not happen to my to, the, to this ministry. It will not happen in this ministry. It will not happen in this church in the name of Jesus. Koni shall see me. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Eternal Rock of Ages will bless your name. Thank you for this opportunity you have given us. Thank you for the grace to gather in your presence. Father, be thou glorified in Jesus' name. The hour is now. Father, come down and revive us. In the name of Jesus. Father, the hour is right now. We want you to come down powerfully and revive your church in the name of Jesus. And revive your nation in the name of Jesus. That's word of revival. Father, send it from above in the name of Jesus. That's word that our life needs right now. Lord, let that word come from above in the name of Jesus. Thank you because you are here already. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Let's be seated. Hallelujah. I welcome everybody to the presence of God this morning. There's no other better place to be at this hour. The Bible says in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. I want to tell somebody here that the joy of the Lord will never leave you in the name of Jesus. Now, we took our reading, the Bible reading from the book of 1 Kings chapter 18. A very popular story of the Bible. I want to use this text, this reading of today to inform you, to notify you of what you are going to face this year. And to prepare you. To let you know that it does not matter what comes your way this year. You have the power. One with God is a majority. Hallelujah. It does not matter whatever you are faced with this year. I want to assure you that you are coming out victorious. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are winning battles this year. I thought I was talking to somebody. You are gaining territories. You are claiming grounds. You are possessing your possession. In this year, in the name of Jesus. People that does not know your God. There's going to be a contest between you and them. And through that contest, they will know your God. Leave the witches and wizards alone. Let them come. And say they want to contend with you. This year. They will die. Oh, I said they will die. All the things that you have been taking for granted before now. People will just come and, you know, pass through your life and deposit all manners of evil there. People will just come and insult you and embarrass your God. Anybody that dare to try it, hear the word of the Lord. This year, they will die mysteriously. So, I'll be examining some of the things that happen in that 20 verses, in those 20 verses that were read. Praise the Lord. Now, the story we read is that of the contest between the light and the darkness. So, you need to belong to somewhere. It's either you belong to the light or you belong to the darkness this year. The title of this word of God that I'm sharing with you is Let the Fire Fall. Amen. <laughs> fire is going to fall this year. So, there must be an altar upon which that fire will fall. And there must be a sacrifice upon that altar that that fire will consume. Hallelujah. So the story was a contest between light and darkness. A contest between the prophet of Baal and the prophet of God, Elijah. So we can learn a few things from the story. Those are the things that you need this year. Number one, there is a constant spiritual battle between evil and good. It is constant. In physics, we write K when something is constant. It's constant. It must happen. That's how it is. That is what happens every time. That is what will happen. There is a constant spiritual battle between evil and good. So be ready for it this year. The story we read talks about a physical contest. But let me tell you, in reality, the spiritual battle is real and constant too. Forget about what happened on that mountain. It was a physical battle. But what you should expect might not be a physical battle this year, but a spiritual battle. 
But it does not matter which form it comes with. You are winning a battle. Let somebody read Ephesians 6, 12 for me. Ephesians 6, 12. Another person should open Daniel 10. 12 and 13. Ephesians 6, 10, who is reading? 6, 12, sorry. That word is a preparation. We do not wrestle against flesh. I want you to be aware of that. I told us that the battle can come in any form. Physical, spiritual, just be aware. Yes, you can read on. Against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness. Oh, yes. Against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to wrestle against the wicked people of this world this year. And you are going to win that battle. In the mighty name of Jesus. So this verse of the Bible is telling us. Christian mighty was in me. Bob and Gelly Reti we. Ni Ari Ota Loa. Mashora. This verse of the Bible is telling you that you have to be prepared. Spiritually and physically. Because the kind of fight you are going to fight this year, they are going to come both physically and spiritually. Who is reading Daniel 10, 12 and 13? <laughs> Let me tell you, it is not enough that you know how to pray this year. Prayer is not enough. Amen. Look at what happened in the book of Daniel. Can you read for us? Yes. Daniel 10, 12, 12 and 13. He said to me, Yes. From the first day Daniel prayed, uh -huh. so humble himself before God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> I want to pray for somebody here. That Prince of Persia that is holding on to the result of your prayers. We release it. In the name of Jesus. Somebody had prayed. Don't say I pray. Oh, I pray so much. It is not, it's not enough. You need reinforcement. God needs to stand on, on your behalf. Angels need to walk on your behalf. So that the result of your prayers can get to you. So when you are praying this year, have it at the back of your mind that God is answering my prayer, but I have to wash. You monitor that prayer from one level to another. God, where is my prayer? Where is the answer to my prayer right now? Show to move call office. Show to another secretary. You need a follow up on your prayers this year. So that you are, you are, when you are not getting the result, you can switch into action and say, what is happening here? You need to begin to follow and monitor that your prayer with fire. Fire must fall upon something this year. Amen. Amen. Can you imagine that? An angel with a message from God was prevented from delivering that message to the whole of the message. So you yourself have to be very careful. That was an angel that was sent from God. The angel that usually stay in the presence of God every time. The messenger between God and man was stopped. I pray for somebody you will not be stopped this year. I say you will not be stopped this year. <laughs> Reinforcement had to be sent. Daniel got that response. Hallelujah. Thank God that reinforcement was sent immediately. I pray for somebody here. You have labored in the place of prayer. And people have started querying that your prayer life. I pray for you that reinforcement that you need for the answers of your prayer to get to your hand. Receive it right now. I say receive it right now. The second thing I want you to learn from that first king 18, 20 to 40 is that one with God is a majority. Amen. You don't need to follow the group of people that are going the wrong way. You can be alone. But while you are standing alone, stand with God. 
while Elijah was standing alone as the only prophet on that mountain, he stood with God. He knew the right place to stand. Fire is going to fall this year, but stand in the right place so that the fire can work in your favor. Stand at the right place. Those other people were standing with Baal. It is not their fault. <laughs> The, ma the only man that was standing with God was willing to go into contest against 450 prophets of Baal. He was willing. He was ready. Let somebody read Daniel 11 verse 32b for me. He was, re he was ready. Just one man. The people that know their God, they will do exploits. Praise the Lord. If you are standing with God, if you are right with God, if you know your God very well this year, you will do exploits. I say you will do exploits. You must stand alone, but stand right with God. While you are alone, make sure you are standing, you are resting upon God. Make sure God is the reason why you are standing. Make sure it's the one that tells you stand here. And it's about what be a coco to learn Nico Duronian. Praise the Lord. I have never seen somebody that fought with God and won God before. Have you seen before? I've never seen. Praise God. And it will never happen. That is why one with God is what? A majority. Learn to be with God. Know your God. If you know your God, you will do exploit. You will do the wondrous things. The miraculous this year. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. The third thing I want you to know from the 20 verses that was read is that Satan will let you down. So don't rely on him. I pity those prophets of Baal. They have seen Baal. They have seen him do wondrous, wondrous things before them before. He must have done something that made them to believe in him. Devil has performed miracle before them before. But that day, they were disgraced. If you are on the path of the devil, he will disgrace you this year. Because this is the year of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the year of the Lord. So, stay with God. Satan will let you down, no matter how. He will let you down. He does not have what it takes. The prophets of Baal, they were put to shame. They were disgraced. I am talking to you as a Christian. Know the kind of God that you are serving. Know God. Know God by yourself. You don't have to wait till Sunday before you hear about God. You can hear about him, read about him, meditate about him every day and have the knowledge of him. Know that your God very well this year. Because people that does not know him will be put to shame this year. People that does not know him. No matter how big they are. No matter how rich they are. If you don't know God this year, that your devil will let you down. That Satan will let you down. People will be disgraced this year. If you don't need to say amen. It is a constant. It is K. People will be put to shame that does not know God. Because Satan cannot rule again. We need to be on our feet and send him out of our life and send him out of our nation praise the Lord why do you think the prophet of Baal agreed to that contest Baal must have performed before but on that day he failed them I want you to know that Satan will fail this year he has failed in your life he failed last year he will still fail this year he will fail next year in the mighty name of Jesus Hallelujah. You know, there's a particular person called Sisera in the Bible. I'm talking from the book of Judges. You know, he has won battles. He can fight. Very powerful. But Deborah told Barak, he said, today is the end of Sisera. Let's see Judges 4, 14 and 15. He said, go into a contest with Sisera. God is willing to disgrace Sisera. Hallelujah. The Bora said unto Barak, This is the day. God 
we deliver your enemies into your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus, this day, this month, this year, every enemy of your life, the Lord will deliver them into your hands. That was a woman of God, Deborah, speaking, prophesying, telling Barak, go ahead. Throw that fear away. Face that battle. Face that situation. Fire is falling this year. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy concerning you and your life. I see your enemies abandoning the battle against you. They are fleeing away. Just like Sarah. <laughs> that Sarah ran away. Olipe, this is not a, <laughs> this is not how it used to be. The game changed. Somebody is here whose amen can sound very well. Very well. That game will change this year. It's not going to be business as usual. Game will change. Oh, I am a game changer. Amen. Game will change this year. Satan can no longer reign in my life. He can no longer reign in my marriage. That game must change. It cannot be business as usual. In every part of my life, in every area of my life, Satan can no longer reign. It's not possible. Fire is falling this year. In the name of Jesus. One with God is a majority. Another thing I want you to learn. Elijah repaired the broken altar. Amen. Before he could call on fire to come down, he realized that there are things that need to be put in place. For you to have a smooth ride this year, for you to have a good relationship with God, for things to fall in place, for that game to change, for it not to be like business as usual, there are things that you need to do. All the broken altar must be amended. All those things that you used to do, that you are aware that God is not happy with, you need to drop them. All the life you used to live that does not glorify the name of the Lord, there must be a change. All the broken altars must be amended for fire to come. Elijah had that clue that God does not descend in a place where where it's rough, where 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 it's not neat enough, where it's not good enough. He knew that about God. You need to know your God very well. And know what he wants. What he desires. What he requires of you. Praise the Lord. Elijah knew that. Before he could call on fire. Before he could call on God at all. The first step he took. Was that he repaired the broken down altar. This new beginning we are talking about this month. Is that you and I. Should go back to the altar and repair is that the men of God should go back and repair the altar of their church so that God can come down so that fire can fall upon altars so that revival can continue so that we don't have to run after money again if we get to a level that that money you are seeking now will be the one running after you so why not seek it first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, even as a minister of God? Go and repair those altars that are broken down. This message is for everybody. Even for politicians, for everybody. Those your altars that are broken, go and repair them. That is what God is requesting for this year. He wants to come. He wants to be with you. He wants to fellowship with you. He wants that relationship to be smooth again. He wants revival to be in churches. And not miracle all the time. People can no longer hold services except they say come for your miracle. It, 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 it can't be like that. We can't continue. It has to be about salvation of souls. The word of God is no longer sweet in the mouth of some men of God. Because their altars are broken. Praise the Lord. 
Elijah repaired the broken down altar. Altars are places where sacrifices are offered to God. Is it that to God or to the devil? We have physical altars like we have in the Old Testament and spiritual altars. What was the desire of God concerning the altar? Let's see the book of Le Leviticus. Leviticus 6, 12 and 13. Leviticus 6, 12 and 13. There must be fire upon the altar. Yes. It must burn. These days, there are no fire on so many altars. Is it the altar where they have buried somebody? So that there will be plenty of people coming to church. Is that where God wants to put his fire? No. You can read on. Hmm. Every morning. Every morning. Praise the Lord. You may sit down. If you really want to know what God desires or what God wants about altar, go to that book of Leviticus and read very well. God wants the fire to be upon the altar constantly. When the fire goes out, unpleasant things begin to happen. And those are the things happening in churches and happening in the whole world now. Because fire is no longer upon the altar. And when no only pepper to shake it, what to cook. Amen. amen. But this year, fire will fall again. Amen. Oh, that amen is too small. I said this year, fire will fall down. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Reason why unpleasant things are happening around you is because the fire upon your altar is dead. It's because water has killed the fire upon the altar. Because people have given too much time to the things of the world. Praise the Lord. Second Chronicles 29, 8 and 9. Second Chronicles 20, 29, 8 and 9. Therefore. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Because they are yes. Do you know why those things happen to them? Because the fire upon their altar was no more. Unpleasant things will begin to happen in families, in churches, around you, if the fire is no longer burning. Praise the Lord. And I want you to know. The fire cannot fall if the altar is not repaired. Repair your altar. This is a message to everybody. Repair your altar. Start doing the right thing. Begin afresh. Begin anew. Amen. Amen. Do you have an altar for God in your house? If you have an altar for God in your house, just raise up your hand here. It is important that you have it. Because there's fire. Amen. 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 I want to give you four types of altar before I go on. Personal altar. You need a personal altar. It's important. There's a family altar where you, as a family, gather maybe once or twice a day to serve God, to worship God, to praise God. There must be a family altar. Family that prays together, they live together. They live happily. Amen. There's what they call congregational altar. Like the one we have here. This is a congregational altar. All of us gather together to worship God. And we, we declare this place an altar for God. Assuming the white garment church, there will be there will be candles stand here and there will be fire upon it. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. But we know that there's fire upon this altar. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is something that we need to have as a, as a nation, a national altar. Praise the Lord. They have it in Israel. Up to today. A national altar. Some countries have it. Where when, when things begin to happen. 
When things that are unpleasant begin to happen, they go to that water. When they are happy, they go to that water. When they are celebrating as a nation, they go to that water. It is important that we have it. Act of Apostle 15, 16 and 17. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. God Himself telling us how important it is for us to repair the altar. Say by Himself, He's going to repair the tabernacle of David. By Himself. Yeah importance of that altar. Altar must be repaired. Altar must be in good shape. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So the restoration of David Tabarako simply means the end time restoration of the ministry of true worship and intercession. That was what God was telling us here. God telling us that he wants to rebuild, he wants to reconstruct the tabernacle of David. He's simply telling the old church and the old world that it is time for true worship. True worship and intercession. That is what we need. Those are the, those are the, those are the altar that are broken already. There's no true worship. Any longer. People just sing any kind of song just to entertain the church. So that people can say church was, ah, church today was lit. Oh my God. Holy God. Amen. No. People should be under your worship ministration and lives are being transformed. People are, 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 they are breaking through in the course of worship. That is the altar we are talking about. That have been broken that need to be restored. Hallelujah. Through intercession, people praying wholeheartedly, not because they needed something. I realized today that people only pray when they need something. People don't pray just because they want to pray. People don't pray just to give thanksgiving. People don't pray for other people. People don't intercede on behalf of the nation. People don't intercede on behalf of the men of God. They have come to only criticize them. They are human beings like you. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I want to quickly tell us the blessings of David Tabernacle. When that tabernacle was there, no battle was lost by Israel during David's lifetime. When the David tabernacle was intact, that is the reason why the altar of your life must be intact. And fire burning upon that altar every day. When David's tabernacle was intact, there was no battle that was lost in the whole of Israel. Hallelujah. Israel annexed many nations. Israel began to expand. Why? Because the David tabernacle was what? Intact and active. Praise the Lord. Israel was greatly feared and respected by all our enemies. Why? Because the altar of that nation was burning. There was fire upon that altar. David, David Tabernacle was there. The enemies of that state, the enemy of that country, begin to fear that country. If your altar is well repaired and there is fire upon your altar constantly, your enemy will fear you. They will respect you. And at that time, when the Tabernacle of David was in Israel, People were, were prosperous and favored during David's time. Among the people that will taste prosperity this year, you are one of them. But make sure that your altar is intact, well repaired, good, carries the fire of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. And another thing that happened to David when the tabernacle was on was that David himself was blessed. So as a carrier of that altar, you are blessed. I say you are blessed. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. Dr. Aronsiola in his book he said, Fire upon the altar. That was the name of that book, Fire Upon the Altar. It said, says, it is when a church has restored the tabernacle of David. And you know, I told you the tabernacle of David means true worship and intercession. Getting deeply committed to true praise and worship and intelligent intercession, then she would become a territorial and possessing church. So for us in spring of life this year, we need to restore the tabernacle of David. We need true praise and worship. True one that comes from the heart. We need intelligent intercession. Not the kind of prayer that somebody pray and God detests that prayer. No. The prayer that is coming from a whole mouth, a whole heart. We need those kind of prayer this year. Praise the Lord. So that we can become a territorial and a possessing church. So that anywhere we desire to possess, we can possess. So that everywhere we want to go, we can go. We need to restore the tabernacle of David of this ministry. Praise the Lord. So that after we have restored that tabernacle, our evangelistic effort will yield. It will yield fruitfully in the mighty name of Jesus. And this area where we are located will be greatly imparted for God in the name of Jesus. I say it will be greatly imparted for God in the mighty name of Jesus. Can somebody read 1 Kings 18.38 for me? Because fire of God is going to fall upon the church and souls will be won this year. The fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Because fire is going to burn. I said fire is falling this year. If you don't understand that verse 38, let me just give you the summary of it. When the fire of God falls upon the church, souls will be won easily. I want to look on I want to look on I say, I'm the soft. When you tell them about Christ, they run to you. They will run to that Christ. They want to follow you and worship that your God. They want to come and mean, I, I mean, have a service with you. Praise the Lord. It's going to happen in this church. This year. This year. This year. I want us to compare verse 21 and verse 39. Who is reading verse 21 for me? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Following. Mm. Following. Uh-huh. Go to 39. When they have seen what happened, oh my God. Mm. I want to prophesy to the life of somebody something that will happen this year and people will be convinced about your God it will happen speedily in your life they will be convinced and say this man is serving God truly you know things will happen and they say this is the hand of God that thing is going to happen in your life it's going to happen very early in this month in the name of Jesus so you don't need to call people and say see, let me tell you about my God my God is a good God, my God is a powerful God my God, no, you don't need that any longer that happened in verse 21 when Elijah was telling them you people should stay in one place if you want to be for God, be for God if you want to follow Baal, follow Baal but by the time it got to verse 39 game had already changed those people need that they, they don't need to be told they are seen by themselves i want to tell somebody by the, you know your enemy by themselves they will see the glory of god in your life they will see that you are progressing they will see that you are moving forward they will call your attention to the goodness in your life they say pastor i think you know 
they will call your attention to the goodness of your life in the mighty name of Jesus you may sit down in this church we are going to give God quality praise and prayers and in session go up to him in the name of Jesus the fire of the Lord will fall in this place in the mighty name of Jesus and after this message of this morning I see men and women rushing to church to come and worship after this message in the name of Jesus I see men and women coming to church early to be granted a seat in the mighty name of Jesus after this word of God I see revival breaking out from this church in the name of Jesus and I see that revival extended to every part of the world in the name of Jesus. I want you to rise to your feet. I see the church taking over territories. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am excited because I hear in my spirit that this is our time. I thought I was talking to the people. Prophecy will be fulfilled this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every man in this house that is going to be prophesied about you this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every man in this house that is going to be prophesied about you this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every man in this house that is going to be prophesied about you this year. In this ninth year of this ministry, I prophesy that all our good prophecies shall be fulfilled. Amen. I will be part of it. Amen. You will be part of it. Amen. But we all need to play our parts and let God be God. Let God be God. Let God be God. I want to tell you a story before I leave the altar. There's a particular boy from Bath. When he wakes up in the morning, he will say, Mommy, I'm awake. The mom that will run to him, pick him up and greet him, put him behind. He will, he will, he will chant the oriki. The boy will be happy every day for four years. On his fourth year birthday, he woke up again. He said, Mommy, I'm awake. Expecting the mother to come and carry him and put him, you know, at her back and chant the hurricane on the boy. The mother did not answer. Mommy, I'm awake. He started crying. Mommy, I'm awake. The father said, Go back the day. Go back, no back. My joy, you need Leave him. That day, the boy woke up by himself. He stood up by himself. And the mother said, Congratulations. You have grown up. I am telling you today that there is no space in the crash of Holy Spirit. There is no crash in Holy Spirit. You need to wake up. As Christians, you need to grow up. Stop waiting for people to carry you. Stop waiting for prayer contractors. Stop waiting for people to read the Bible to you. Stop waiting for miracles. God can even use you to perform miracles. You need to get to that level this year. Tell your neighbor, say, grow up. You are waiting. There. All, the, all the people that are welfare committee in this church, they are very useless. They don't even know my house. They have not come to greet me. Jesus never went to greet somebody in his house. You are waiting for people to come to your house. And they should come and drop all manners of sizes of shoes. It is not your portion, man. It is not your portion. Tell your neighbor, say, grow up. Amen. No. You need to know that it is a privilege for you to serve God. There are so many people at the hospital that will do anything possible, anything in their capacity to be here where you are this morning. But they can no longer. Some people are bedridden and that is how they are going to die. They are not coming out of hospital and they are aware of it. Stop it. Ah, the pastor is not talking well of me. Leave these church people, they are not even. No. You need to grow up. 
Praise the Lord. Erect a personal altar. Erect a family altar. Come and fellowship where the congregational altar is. And let us, as Christians, as a body of Christ, raise a national altar for this nation. And the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. I want you to raise your two hands up and say, Father, let your fire fall upon me. See, let me tell you two things that that fire will do. Immediately as the fire is going to come upon you right now, everything that is not supposed to be inside your body will be consumed by the fire. Amen. And that fire will energize, energize you. Amen. And revival will start with you. Amen. Those are the two things the fire will do. Raise your two hands up and say, My father, my father, my father, my father. let your fire fall upon me. And consume everything that you have not planted in my life. Let that fire energize me and let revival begin with me. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer now. Let your fire fall upon me this morning. Let it consume everything that you have not planted in my life. Everything that is growing and you have not planted. Let it be consumed by the fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, let this fire of God energize me. Let it cause revival to start from me. Let revival start within me. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Say, O oh Lord of revival, revive Spring of Life Evangelical Church. In the name of Jesus. When you are praying for the revival of the church, you are praying for your whole revival too. Hallelujah. God is going to revive his church. Amen. Is there anything that is dead in the church? Any good thing that is dead? Is there any wing that is dead in this church? It shall be revived. Amen. The prayer life of the church shall be revived. Amen. Every aspect of our ministry shall be revived. Amen. The evangelistic aspect of this ministry shall be revived. Amen. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord of Reviver, revive your church this year. Open your mouth and pray that prayer now. In Jesus' mighty name, we are revived. Eternal Rock of Ages, we bless your name. Thank you for sending your fire into our midst. Thank you for allowing that fire to fall. Father, be thou glorified in Jesus' name. We pray, O oh Lord, as this fire begins to burn in our midst, O oh Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, for revival in all areas. Father, revive us in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that the altars that are broken down shall be repaired in the name of Jesus. Give us the grace to be children of God. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's jump those things together for Jesus. You may be seated. If you are here with your tithes, please come forward. If you are here with your tight, come forward. I want you to begin to speak to that your tight. I want you to first of all thank God for the grace of obedience that He has given you. And I want you to tell Him that every blessing that follows this obedience must follow you in sport. Let's tell God that the source from which all this money has come out from, the non from guy. Let's tell God that the grace to do more than this, let it fall upon us. And because we have come to give you your own portion, your own part of our money, we pray that we will flourish with the rest of the money. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Offering time. Fire.
of your name in the name of Jesus. Every pocket that this money has come out from, we pray that you will replenish in billion fold in the name of Jesus. Father, we also pray for the people that want to give what they don't have. Father, we pray, King of glory, that you bless them abundantly in the name of Jesus. That they will have more than enough to give to your name in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that anywhere there is need for us to spend money, do not spend anger there in the name of Jesus. Thank you because we have done this. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen, amen, in Jesus' name. I want you to be connected to somebody. Just hold on to somebody. Make sure your hand is touching someone. It doesn't have to form a circle, but just make sure your hand is touching somebody. Just make sure that your hand is touching somebody. I want to pray for somebody here divine connection that you need because your hand is connected to somebody's hand receive that connection Amen. in any area of life where you need that connection I pray if your amen can grow up very well go and be connected amen. I don't care how very impossible it is looking like. It's like you cannot know those people. It's looking like those people are just there. <laughs> I want to connect you even with angels. Because your hand is touching somebody's hand. Go and get connected. I pray for you. You are not just going to be connected with people, with ordinary people. You are going to be connected with destiny helpers. People that will make your dreams to come true. Amen. People that will aid your vision. Amen. People that you will move together. Amen. People that will help you to achieve. Amen. Go and be connected with them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Is there any connection that you have before that is affecting your growth? Today, you are disconnected. Amen. With every relationship that you have had in the past, that is the reason why you are not moving. The reason why you are stagnant. You are disconnected in the name of Jesus. Amen. All your angels will be active. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen, amen. Let's bring the service to a close.
in this world. Or let be just so silly. share the grace, I want us to read the watchword 2020. Watchword 2021. Sorry. Praise God. Watchword 2021. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Amen. May the Lord do a new thing in your life this week in the name of Jesus. 
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven thunders, hallelujah. One, two, three, go. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. All the people that are asked to wait after the service, let's quickly have our meeting so that we don't waste time. God bless us in Jesus' name. Fire.